and we're back with another instant analysis practice report brought to you, brought to you by the Smokey Investment Team. We're going to talk about Bart and Brian a little bit later, but another what we've been calling the Chamber of Commerce Weather Day. It's unbelievable the uh, the conditions that we've been out here for spring practice compared to what we had in August. And uh, as soon as we got let in the gate today, we saw Jaden Daniels lead the offense. Then we got a little bit of Walker Howard. Uh, then we got Coach Kelly afterwards. Bron uh, Buddy had some good questions about the spring game format and um, had a big number of recruits on the sideline. Uh, so we're going to be reaching out to a bunch of recruits uh, over the weekend. So what was your take on today's practice, Buddy? Good to see everybody on a gorgeous Saturday afternoon. Of course, as we know, two weeks from today, LSU will host the spring game officially. Uh, talking to Michael Bonnet at 1 o'clock two weeks uh, from today here in Tiger Stadium. As you alluded to, we got in a two period 18, so we saw them wrap up with some physical uh, play. Line of scrimmage is coming together. Once again, Charles Turner at center, Xavier Hill at left guard. Will Campbell, you heard Coach Kelly talk about ever since they moved Will Campbell to left tackle, things have started to fall into place. So don't, uh, don't, uh, Diminish the fact that 66 may start as a true freshman on the right side. Obviously, Miles Frazier and Cam Wire. Uh, we do know that Tremone Shorts is getting some work at left guard. Miles Frazier also got a little work at left tackle, so they are cross training, and I think that certainly is a work in progress with that offensive line. And yes, uh, we, we've got some questions about the format, the quarterbacks, and all that, and we'll give it to you here in the next 10 minutes. Yeah, we, we got uh, Matt Trent buzzing behind us, uh, so that's all good. But uh, yeah, we, we um, I think one of the things that I picked up today was when we talked to the players. Uh, all of them talking about strength and conditioning and the nutrition. Uh, Jaden Daniels, I, I tried to pull it out of him and finally got him to admit they want to get him over 200 pounds. There's no doubt in my mind they probably got him eating two and a half, three hours, uh, every two and a half to three hours every day, trying to get as many calories as him. Because when you see him in street clothes, he's, he's, he really needs to put on some weight. Um, Charles Turner uh, had some uh, good responses. And uh, he really uh, opened up when he talked about uh, Will Campbell. We have, we'll have all those inter interviews for you. And uh, I think he's also impressed with Fitzgerald West, who's also, you know, having played defensive line in high school, being uh, moved to the offensive line. And, uh, and I think he, uh, you could tell on his face that he believes that Fitzgerald West has a bright future. Had Greg Brooks. I thought he was very good uh, today. Um, but one of the things that we saw in, 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 the, in the practice session was that uh, they were getting pretty darn physical out there. But like Coach Kelly said, when it comes to the spring game, it's going to be offensive defense just because they don't have the numbers. He didn't want to say it out loud outright, but I, you know that's where they're going to end up. Well, I originally asked the question about how he would uh, get uh, four quarterbacks uh, some fair work. Look, folks, you don't have four offensive lines. You don't have four sets of wide receivers or four sets of running backs. So we got a lot of stuff with the questions and answers. He did say right now they're leaning probably to the offense against the defense, and that will let Walker Howard and, of course, Garrett Nussmeyer get some reps with either the ones or the twos on offense. If you put them in the threes or fours, it's just not a fair assessment. Uh, obviously, Makai, this is a name you're going to be saying uh, a bunch. Makai Garner at uh, corner from the Raging Cages, number 22, 6 2, 2 15, still very impressive. And uh, Makai Wingo, the D lineman coming over from Missouri, he's starting to assert himself. Jay Roy, Jaqueline Roy, still a little banged up. Jack Bash, a little banged up. Butte out there in the boot. But for the most part, they're getting things done, but they just don't have enough depth to divide the team evenly. And, and, uh, and so you'll see probably, uh, once again, as we said, two weeks from today at 1 o'clock, uh, offense against defense. Bernard Converse, we got the uh, ruling on the, the, a bone in the foot, and they uh, went in and corrected it. And he says that he'll be there in June. And so um, that's important. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, we're waiting any minute now on the Ohio State transfer uh, at corner to say that uh, it's going to be LSU for him. Uh, that's been the trend for the last 24 to 36 hours. So this instance analysis practice report is brought to you by the Smokey Investment Team. They have over 45 years of combined experience in handling their clients' financial needs. And this uh, in financial environment experience does matter. Give Bart or Brian Smokey a call at 
318-448-3201. That's 318-448-3201. Anything that you, uh, any questions you have, anything that you need as far as investments, 401k, SEP, uh, you name it, IRAs, they're who you want to talk to anywhere in Louisiana. Of course, they're based in Alexandria. And securities are offered through LPL Financial, member FINRA slash SIPC. Uh, nobody's better than, than Barton, Brian, Smokey it, with the Smokey investment team. Couple of tidbits we noticed on the defense, Mike. You saw them blitzing and putting more pressure. Look, folks, you got to get rid of the football quicker. We know that. I looked it up. 38 sacks last year is what LSU had on defense. They gave up 38 sacks. So getting rid of the football, you're going to see them make some throws in the flat. Uh, obviously, we only had about 25 to 27 minutes of uh, watching that. John Embry, a big run today. That run out there today, he broke through and took it to the house. I specifically asked Coach about John Embry and his situation this year. You'll hear him there. And also, I had to ask about the And he's very candid. I like his answers on that. The, the, he he has been incredible so far. He doesn't sugarcoat it. You know, whether it's him or, you know, of course, he you know lit a fire when he talked about Kayshawn Butte. Uh, and then everybody was wondering what did that mean and trying to read things into it. And um, look, I, I I think maybe Coach Kelly knows how to use the media, you know. But uh, this is big for for John Emery. I know Frank Wilson's excited about uh, his performance uh, so far this spring. And um, Savion Jones today uh, was one of the guys that we got, and he looks fantastic. Uh, he said, talked about getting a lot bigger. I asked him specifically, you know, because I think him and Quincy Wiggins are very similar. We're all guys out of high school that need time to, you know, learn technique. Not You're not just going to get away with bull rushing uh, uh, offensive linemen like you can at the high school level. And uh, and he said as, as much. But uh, he thinks the biggest thing that he's made since he arrived here uh, from St. James is, is putting on muscle. And you could see it. His legs were, were significantly bigger. Uh, of course, you know, we see him out there in, in, in pads. and But uh, in interviews, you know, they're wearing shorts. And, and he is definitely – uh, put on it looks to me at least 10 or 15 pounds of muscle since last year two important details i think all of you can sink your teeth into on this saturday afternoon you have seen an inordinate amount of former players come in regardless of when they play kevin mawai is in there honey badger talking to the team Fournette coming in here so i like embracing all of the former players that can do only good things moving forward and oh by the way i had to ask him about seven and 18 and he said this is going to be contingent on what the players want to do once again bringing the former players in to help as the lsu brand moves forward but now letting this football team have some input and uh, look, you got to give them a piece of the pie. you got to let them make some decisions, and I think that is what we are seeing now. Since there's a, so much sense of urgency, accountability, on time, going to school, all those things, getting your degree, I think everybody's uh, buying in. And, Mike, if you got to do it, i got to do it, and I'm sensing that uh, that's why this football team's on the same page right now. Yeah, I, I think you know one thing like, like we keep saying in these reports is I, I, little, I, I legitimately believe that these football players are having fun and they absolutely like the discipline part of it. They like that they're held accountable. Uh, they like, uh, you know, I wanted to ask one of them today, but I'm gonna ask them next time. I, I, you know, it's one of these deals where if you're three minutes uh, early, you might be late, you know? Uh, so I think all of them like the structure. They like what's being installed here. And I think that goes for the veterans, not just the news guys, new guys. It's always easy to get the new guys because you, you got them as babies. Um, but it's the three, four, five, fifth year guys, uh, and in some cases, six year, uh, that uh, have the difficulty adjusting to new things. But I think they're all doing a fantastic job. Walker Howard with a beautiful uh, fade uh, to a completion for a touchdown. We told you Emory took one about 55 yards to the house. Greg Penn dislodging the football from John Emory's grasp. That was another big play. You're starting to see all this. As we said, don't sleep on 92 Makai Wingo that comes in. Of course, Garner on the outside. you got to get 24 back. I hope they get the Ohio State corner. Uh, of course, we know 26 and 27 and others were having to back up at corner. So right now, to me, Mike, still got a solidified center. Still got to solidify one spot on the offensive line. Still have to get more tight ends. And, of course, as we know, corner, you need more corners. But other than that, 
they're building, not a work in progress. You'll see enough to get you salivating and uh, fired up uh, once again two weeks from uh, today at 1 o'clock. Go subscribe to TigerBait.com. Uh, Buddy alluded to some of the big plays. I've got all of them on, on video for you. Um, nobody does video better than we do. Also going to have all the player interviews, Coach Kelly, uh, his full thing, all, all up uh, on, here on our YouTube channel. Um, but our big uh, video uh, uh, practice uh, is going to be on TigerBait.com. Want to go subscribe to that. You can always get on the site for $1, try us out for a week. I think you'll really like what you get. You get our newsletters, our text alerts, and so forth. But on the back end of that $1 uh, one-week uh, trial period, choose the annual package versus the monthly. You save, you're basically getting three months free when you do that. So we'll be back here, out here next week. What, what do we get? Uh, when's our next time? Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Okay. We'll, be... uh, we'll get uh, both coordinators this week, Den Brock on one day and Matt House on the other, offensive and defensive coordinators. Once again, next Saturday, uh, a full opportunity. And we have loved this access, but I think even Coach Kelly, man, is he getting spoiled in this first year with this weather at spring football? Yeah, I, I think he's uh, – wait wait till he experiences uh, – <laughs> he's going to get a big dose of it. In yeah. He's going to get a big dose of it at June uh, camps. Wait till August. He's really going to know what August, uh, Louisiana heat's about, and um, so and you know that that's something that uh, Jaden Daniels talked about as well. Uh, he's used to a dry heat, but we've got all those interviews for you on our YouTube channel. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and then go over to TigerBait.com and subscribe. And we'll see you on the other side. You guys have a good weekend.